According to Google, somewhere between 5 and 8% of all page loads today use one or more web components. That makes web components one of the most successful new web platform features shipped in recent times. We all know that reusing code as much as possible is a good idea. Components consist of three main technologies that can be used together to create versatile custom elements with encapsulated functionality that can be reused whenever you like. The first is the Custom Elements APIs. These are a set of JavaScript APIs that allow you to define custom elements and their behavior which can then be used as desired in your user interface. The second is the Shadow DOM APIs. These are a set of JavaScript APIs for attaching and encapsulating Shadow DOM tree to an element which is rendered separately from the main document DOM and controlling associated functionality. The Shadow DOM allows you to keep an element's features contained and private so that effects and styles don't conflict with other parts of the document. The final technology is HTML templates. The template and slot elements enable you to write markup templates that aren't displayed on the rendered page. The key difference between web components and proprietary component systems is interoperability. Because of their standard interface, you can use web components anywhere you'd use a built-in element like input or video. Because they can be expressed as real HTML, they can be rendered by all the popular frameworks. Your components can be consumed more widely in a more diverse range of applications without locking users into any one framework. This helps future-proof your applications when you update your tech stack. Instead of a giant rewrite between one framework and another, where you replace all your components, you can just update the components one at a time. According to Can I Use, Web components are in some way or another compatible with almost 90% of modern browsers, although mobile devices may have a hard time rendering some more complex components. In this series, we're going to review five of the most popular web component tools right now, Lit Element, Angular Elements, Stencil.js, Bit, and Svelte.js. We'll compare the website and documentation, community size and support and create a sample component in each. Finally, we'll sum up everything and make some recommendations on how and when to use each one. In the first part, we'll look at lit element along with lit HTML, an efficient, expressive, extensible HTML templating library for JavaScript. Lit element is a lightweight base class that makes it easy to build and share web components created by the Polymer team. And lit HTML lets you write HTML templates in JavaScript using template literals with embedded JavaScript expressions. Behind the scenes, lit HTML creates HTML template elements from your JavaScript templates and processes them so that it knows exactly where to insert and update the values from expressions. Have you used lit element or lit HTML in a project? Comment below your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the review video. See you next time.